Hey guys, Anthony, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to size properly for trading profit from accounts so that way you don't blow the accounts and you can get consistent payouts time and time again. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. So if you trade futures, you'll definitely wanna subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain, but over time I became more consistent and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into this video. I believe the best option is trading the 50k accounts with apex reason why is because the best bang for your buck and the, that is because of the profit goal and the trailing threshold goal so as you can see on the screen um you can trade up to 10 contracts which is massive size you don't want to trade anywhere near that and we'll go into a video explaining this but i actually traded micros on these accounts and uh, the profit goal is 3000 and then the trailing threshold is 2500 so it's basically one to one almost um the only thing that weighs one to one is a 25k but for money wise, once it becomes a PA, it's the same price as the 50K. So the 50K, you get more room and uh, you can you know trade a little bit bigger size because you have more room. And then um, you're paying basically the same price as 25K. So may as well go with that, uh, with the 50K. So it gets worse later on because if you go with the 100K, then it's a two to one, like you need a 6K profit goal and then 3000 trailing threshold. Like you don't get much more trailing threshold uh, by getting the bigger account. So 50K accounts are the best and we'll go over the numbers now. So you, you can lose top to bottom 2,500 before you lose the account, which is 5%, right? 5% of 50K, 5%. So 5% is your stop loss. So now we have to figure out what's the best sizing for our strategy to make sure that we do not lose 5% top to bottom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the risk of ruin calculator. Plug in your stats from your strategy, right? Most strategies might have like a 50% win rate, two to one R, or you know, 75% win rate, one R. And these are the most common kind of strategies. I have strategies that are basically around those numbers. So let's plug in the first one. Let's say 50% win rate. And um, it's a average win is two R, so average on loss is one. That's a two to one risk score ratio. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see what if we risk 1%? And this means that we're risking $500. So we're either, gonna, when we enter trade, we're either gonna lose 500 or we're gonna make 1000. That's what this is implying. A loss level is 5%, like we said, with the 2500. And maybe our strategy averages 20 trades a month. So in one month, we take about 20, 20 entries. We're gonna see there's a 13% chance of us blowing the account from top to bottom. So I personally like to go ahead and play with these numbers until I see about 2% or, or less. 2% uh, or less, is a, that's what makes me feel comfortable with trading that kind of size. 10% uh, definitely not. I do not wanna trade that kind of size if there's a 10% chance of me losing the accounts because I plan on keeping the accounts forever. So, you know, 1% chance, 2% chance, totally good, but 13% chance, a little high, right? So basically what this could translate to is that if we're trading NQ, um, and we're trading one contract, then you know if we take a loss of 25 points, that's $500, which is risking 1%. So if your stop loss on your strategy is needs to be about 25 points on NASDAQ, then, and this is your strategy, then to be safe, you I'd actually have to size smaller than trading one NQ contract, which means you have to go to micros. And my trading strategies, um, I actually have to, have to go down to six micros on NASDAQ. I could do six or seven micros, but I'm, I'm literally doing less than one full contract on these 50K accounts. And I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you why you, you, it's best to do this because you can make a ton of money, but just by trading more accounts and risking less. So you risk less, but you just trade more accounts. So more capital, lower risk, and you make a lot more. And you don't have the stress of losing accounts or blowing up accounts. The best thing now is to say, okay, how can we get this down? So um, let's say we um, we reduce our size to about like eight MNQ, right? So if we're doing like eight micros, <clears throat> then our stop loss at 25 points would be like risking 0.8%. So we're risking 0.8% per trade, uh, which is basically like we're gonna lose $400 or we're gonna make $800. So if our trading strategy is that, with the win rate, everything else stays the same. We calculate it and we say, okay, now it's like an eight, 8%, eight keep pressing calculate to see the average, it's about an 8% chance of us losing the accounts. For me personally, still too risky. So I would go even lower and that's actually how I got to six micros because then if you go to six micros, maybe like 350, so um, risk per, per trade might be like a 0 0.6, 0 0.6. And then um, then you wanna see, okay, what about that? Boom, 2% chance of losing the accounts. 
six micros for this two to one R strategy if that stop loss is 25 points in NASDAQ is the best approach to trade these accounts. And you might be like, oh, that's that's nothing. I'm not gonna, you know, it's gonna take forever. Hey, you're, you're in this for the long run. If you just do the math, we'll do simple math right now. You know, if you have 20 PAs, which you can trade with Apex, 20 PAs, you're risking 350 per trade. You're taking one trade a day. It's a two to one R. So you're making 700 or you're losing 350, right? In 20 trades, 20 trades, half of them you win, half of them you lose. Your net, 3,500, because 10 wins at uh, 700 is 7,000, 10 losses at 350 is 3,500. So you just do 3,500 3, minus 7,000. In one month, you'll make 3,500 per account. 3,500 per account times 10 accounts is 35K in one month. Times 20 accounts is 70K in one month. So you can literally trade six micros per trade. You can take one trade per day. Two to one risk reward ratio, 50% win rate. And in one month, make 70K from prop firms, right? Um, I don't, there's nothing more I need to say. Um, the other thing is, now let's say you have a one to one strategy, right? When I see the signs, when you use for one to one, maybe you have a one to one strategy, it's a 75% win rate. Your uh, average win is one, average loss is one, and um, you're risking 1% per trade. Uh, you're taking 20 trades in a month. This now has a 1% chance of losing the accounts. And this is what I've done recently is I actually, I, now basically when I trade NQ, um, my, my trades are 1.5 R. And um, with 1.5 R, my win rate is about 60%. And I did this because like you just saw right there, the two R strategy, it has a, a greater potential to go on a losing streak. And a losing streak is okay on personal accounts, but it's not okay on, um, funded accounts, right? So if you go on a losing streak, you lose the account. So I found the sweet spot to be about 1.5 R because it, it really reduced my potential uh, max drawdown and uh, it was the best happy medium. Now the two to one R version of my strategy made that was more profitable long-term, more points, more profitability. But um, there was some times where you could go on a huge lose streak and take too big of a drawdown, potentially blow the account. So the happy medium was 1.5 R for me and uh, 60%. And uh, I personally risk uh, about 0.8% per trade. So 1.5 R, we can run those numbers, right? So you can just see <clears throat> if you do 1.5 R, 60% win rate, and um, risking 0.8% uh, per trade, loss level is 5%, 20 trades in a month, um, <clears throat> 1.5. You can see right there, 2%, you know, it's about 2% chance of, of losing the accounts. 3%, let's say 3% chance of losing the accounts based on this strategy. So this is the happy medium because I found like this version was more profitable than the one R system, uh, less profitable than the two R system, but happy medium where unlikely to blow the accounts, um, a lot less likely at least than the two R version, um, but more profitable than the one R version. So that's, you know, I highly suggest you go ahead and you, you look at your strategy or your strategies and you, you run these numbers and see what's What's the best size that you can use on these accounts to get consistent payouts? And that's what this video is all about. Know the numbers, know the probabilities, so that way you don't keep blowing these accounts, right? Um, that's the first thing. Now, the second thing I want to go into is going into the compound calculator. So the thing that a lot of people don't understand is, sure, you have one 50K account and you know maybe your system, like we just went in the last example. The last example, um, we we're risking 350 per trade and the strategy in one month made about 3,500, which means that it, that strategy averages 10 R per month. And um, percentage wise though, uh, it was a le little less than 10%, is about 7%. 7% because 3,500 on 50,000 is 7%. So you're in 7% per month. Like we're gonna say, you know, we trade for 12 months, even just, just 12 months, right? That's not even a long time. Once you have the strategy, once you have everything, you see uh, no compounding because we're just gonna withdraw this money from these accounts. So, you know, 3,500 a month, every month is the 7%, which is what the strategy says, right? This is cool and all, this is great. You might be thinking, oh, you know, I want more money. No problem, just get more accounts. Now, if you have 10 accounts, instead of it being 50,000, it's 500,000. So now you do 7% on that and 35,000 USD per month with just those 10 accounts. And right now I'm trading 20 accounts. So I have 1 million in funding with Apex. I'm, I'm keeping my risk low. So that way I'm, I'm playing the long game, but the long game, this is considered a long game. 
where you know, I'm not going to be blowing these accounts and I'm just going to be having, I'm just having consistent payouts. 70K per month if you use a low risk strategy. So I just want to show you what's possible if you just really dial down your risk and make sure you don't blow these accounts because if you're able to stack more and more accounts, then you won't have any stress when you're entering. You won't be afraid you know, of closing. You, want to, you don't want to close early because it's low risk. Your, your trades are low risk. Right, you have to take like six, seven losses in a row to lose the accounts because of your size, your size inappropriately, and you're going to trade better. And then if you just scroll down, you get that you know 70k per month, which is fantastic that you can fund into your own personal account and grow that over the next 12 months. So the whole point of this video is to help you understand what sizing you should be using. And for most people, they shouldn't be trading the, the minis. You should be trading micros on futures, micro ES, micro uh, Nasdaq. And just, you know, <clears throat> say you're risking like $300 a trade, $200 a trade, $400 a trade max, and um, just chipping away because month over month, you know, it adds up once you really get that risk management system dialed in. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciated it. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Again, my goal is just to help you become a consistently profitable trader. So you're going to like that subscribe button for more videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.